what's up you guys time is back with another eat fast a straight trash video and today's video is only made possible because i felt like being a kid today now when i say being a kid you know back in the day now i'm not sure where this falls as far as you know where you have to be on the financial totem pole of things but back in my days when i was a kid you know mom wasn't you know rich at all didn't have much money and we did kind of live off the government a little bit and what would happen is my mom would crazy thing is that she would um let us kids walk to the corner store now if you guys know anything about this you guys please chime in but she would have us walk to the corner store and she would actually give us a note telling the you know the the cashier or the worker at the local you know corner store that hey my son is you know just here to pick up some cigarettes for me please let him get some cigarettes and for that my mom would give us a couple dollars in food stamps whatever and we could buy whatever the hell we want so back in those days when we had that you know dollar food stamp or two even uh, most of the times what we used to get as kids is that we would always have at least like one candy bar uh, maybe one kind of um, snack cake or something like that and we'd always have a bag of chips on the side and you'd kind of probably get maybe one of those little juices maybe a little wildwood soda whatnot but today again I felt like being a kid and you know you go into one of those stores um, and you see like a bag of chips and you see like a candy bar or something and you kind of want both you want that sweet and savory uh, combination and you know a lot of times nowadays a lot of these companies can kind of give you all that in one bag okay you know you got um popcorn companies that give you popcorn some salty popcorn and they throw little candy pieces in there so you kind of get that sweet and savory now me personally i love a nice sweet and salty snack those things are the best okay but today i actually have uh, again two for you two for one special and we'll start off with the bag of chips now these are new to me i'm not sure if these are new to everyone else but this is the first time i've seen them and that is these flaming hot barbecue chips from ruffles then i also got these m m's brownie edition fudge brownie now man my favorite m m's are the pretzel m m's those were the best m m's ever in my opinion now some people will say maybe the peanut maybe even the peanut butter but man the pretzels had that right amount of sweet and salty. It was just so damn good. And how they even got a little piece of, you know, pretzel in those damn things. I don't know. It was probably a fake piece of pretzel. It was probably just a piece of salt on the inside. And you just thought it was a pretzel. But anyways, with these ones, um, you know, saying fudge brownie. Now, I'm not expecting them to put an actual piece of brownie um, in this m, &M. I don't know how that would be even remotely possible. To me, honest, I'm just expecting this to be like even chocolatier than the original M&M's, okay? Maybe a little bit more thick uh, fudge on the inside, but I'm going to go into this with an open mind, and I will let you know what I think of these now, okay? Again, nice, sweet, and salty uh, snack today with the ruffles on deck. Here we go. Here we go. Looks like your normal, everyday M&M, even the peanut ones are the again the best ones in my opinion the pretzels but here we go oh man okay So as I expected, it wasn't a real piece of brownie in there. However, the chocolate on the inside was really like dense. It almost had you thinking that you were eating a piece of brownie. Almost like when you have, like when you go to a custard stand or anything like that, or ice cream store, and they have those little brownie pieces in the um, ice cream or custard, whatnot. A lot of times those don't really taste like a real brownie. It just tastes like a thick piece of fudge. And this is kind of what that reminds me of. It has like this dense, fudgy-like texture on the inside of this M&M. And that crispy coating is very nice. It actually brings all of it together, that candy coating. 
that nice chocolate on the inside. Now, these, okay, these are not better than the pretzel m &Ms. However, I couldn't make a statement by saying these are the second best flavored m &Ms. I know, again, there's that. They got the minty ones. They got the, they got a coffee flavored m and They got so many different flavored m and Again, my personal favorite is the M&M pretzels. I don't know if they make those anymore still. Hope they didn't discontinue those things. If they did, they need to bring those back ASAP. But you guys, those are really good. Um, it's got that nice amount of chocolate, that nice density of that chocolate, and almost like a piece of chocolate fudge, that crispy candy coating on those M&Ms. That was damn good right there, you guys. Man, throw that in some ice cream or something like that, and you'd be on your way to heaven, okay? Next up, I got some flaming Hot Barbecue. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of barbecue chips in general. Honestly, like, I mean, it's called barbecue. However, I mean, I really don't get barbecue out of it. Like, you know, like when you're eating it, does it take me to like that barbecue spot? And no, people are gonna say, no, it's more of a barbecue spice. However, it doesn't take me nowhere. Like when you eat one of those like pizza flavored ruffles, it kind of takes you to a pizzeria. Barbecue chips don't take me to a barbecue. It doesn't have me thinking that I'm at a 4th of July picnic or anything like that. So with that, and just honestly, I just don't like the flavor of barbecue chips that much in general. But this one, we got a little spice. We got Jason Tatum of the Celtics on board on this thing too. Maybe he's a big fan of these or... Maybe they just decided to get him and throw him on the cover of these, but here we go. I'm excited to try these because uh, Ruffles, as far as their Flamin' Hot chips, those are kind of usually like one of the hottest variants of Flamin' Hots, the Ruffles and the Doritos. If you ever had those, definitely hop on board the Dorito Flamin' Hots. Those are nice, but here we go. So right away, you definitely get that normal barbecue flavor that most chips have, that same kind of like smokiness to it. But this does have a nice little bit of heat in the background. It's not like those regular barbecue chips that once you get past those little spices or whatnot, there's nothing to it. This, however, has that nice little flaming hot kick to it. Now, these aren't as hot as like, say, even just your original flaming hot cheetos however it does pack a nice little bit of heat so if you're not really too big of a fan of maybe the barbecue chips maybe you like flaming hot a lot you put this together and you got the best of both worlds and honestly i would actually eat these ones again i don't like barbecue chips but with that extra almost like that vinegary taste that you get from flaming hot you know cheetos doritos whatever this kind of helps elevate the barbecue flavor and in my honest opinion, these are pretty damn good. And what the hell? I've never seen a ruffle donut before. But here you go. Here's a first for me. Here we go again. Try one more. Again. That flaming Hot aspect of this chip gives you kind of that tomatoey, vinegary, kind of bite that you expect from your flaming Hots. Then you add that barbecue flavor in here. And these become really, really good. Like these are, these could be really addictive, you guys. I kid you not. Again, if you don't like flaming uh, Hots, or maybe you don't like barbecue, you don't like either one, maybe you just kind of want to try something different, definitely get your hands on these bad boys right here. You get that nice little heat. Get that barbecue flavor, get that flaming hot flavor, and these ones are bomb diggity. Man, I like these right here a lot. These will be my new favorite barbecue chips if I ever get more barbecue chips, but I do like that heat on here. But there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me eat snacks. Uh, but I'm definitely going to get up out of here. Hope you guys have a great day. Man, guys from the down south area, man, be safe out there. I know you guys are about to get hit with another blizzard of some sort or some kind of, you know, weird 
weather that you guys are not used to. So um, uh, my heads go out to you guys being able to get through it. Again, we're only about a month away, two months away before spring should be here eventually. You know, for us Midwestern folks, spring might not even show up until June and then we'll just skip summer and just go right into fall. So hopefully you guys take care, drive safe. Go out there and check up on some people, man. If you see any old people out there shoveling, get your asses out there and go shovel for them. But with that being said, I'm going to get the hell up out of here. Hope you guys enjoy your day. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit the likes, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, all right? Peace out. Yeah!